Welcome to Electro Online. Our next type is a type dealing with coins and money. Those are typically kind of fun. And here's our first example. Tim has $3.15 in dimes and nickels. If he has six more dimes than nickels, how many of each coin does he have? Hmm. So how do you deal with a problem like this? They are indeed a little bit different than your typical word problem because we have to deal with both the quantity of each type and the value of each type. You'll see what I mean. But first, what we need to do is start out with let x equal. And this is why the definition is very important. Let x equal. Now, we're going to let it equal the number of the coin for which it has the fewest of. So it has dimes and nickels, and it indicates that it has more dimes than nickels so therefore, we're going to let x equal the number of nickels. Not the value of the nickels, but the number of nickels. So let x equal the number of nickels. Now, if it has six more dimes than nickels, then we can write let x plus six equal the number of dimes. So now we have expressed the number of nickels and the number of dimes in terms of x. Now we're also told that the total value of his coins is $3.15. So therefore we need to come up with some sort of equation where we can say that the value of all the nickels plus the value of the dimes equals the total value of all the coins. And that's the key to coming up with an equation. So we define the number of nickels and the number of dimes in terms of x, but then we define the equation in terms of the value of those coins and the sum of all the value of all the coins adds up to the total value. So to get the value of the nickels, we're going to multiply the number of the nickels times the value of each nickel. So we're going to take x, which is the number of nickels that we have, times 0.05, which is the value of each nickel. So you multiply the value of each nickel, nickel times the number of nickels, and that gives you the total value of all the nickels. Now we're going to do the same with the dimes, plus x plus 6 is the number of dimes that we have, and we're going to multiply that times the value of each dime. So the value of each dime times the number of dimes gives you the total value of the dimes, and together those two add up to the total value of all the coins together, which is $3.15. <clears throat> now we want to get rid of the decimals, and therefore we're going to multiply both sides by 100. So multiply the left and the right side by 100. If we do that, we get 5 times x plus 10 times x plus 6 is equal to 315. Notice we made this into a 5, we made this into a 10, we made this into 315 by multiplying both sides by 100. Now we get rid of the decimal, uh, not the decimal, but the parentheses. So 5x plus 10x plus 60 equals 315. Now we move the 60 to the other side because we want to separate the variables from the numbers. So we have 5x plus 10x, that's 15x on the left side, is equal to 315 minus 60, because when we bring the plus 60 to the other side, it becomes minus 60. So we have 15x is equal to 255. And finally, we divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of x. So 15 times 15, that would be uh, 225. 15 times 17, hmm, yeah, that would be it. So therefore, when we come up here, <clears throat> we have x is equal to 17, because 17 times 15, that would be 170, that would be 220, that would be 255. So that is correct. x equals 17 is the correct value. Now let's go back and define the number for each. Since the x was the number of nickels, that means we have 17 nickels. But we have six more dimes, so six plus 17, that gives us 23 dimes. And now let's check to see if we did this correctly. So the value of 23 dimes, value of dimes, that would be equal to 
23 times 0 0.10 dollars, that would be $2.30. The value of the nickels, that would be equal to 17 times 0 0.05, which is 85 cents, 0 0.85 dollars. And when we add them together, the total value is equal to, looks like, $3.15, which is the same as what we started with, so it looks like we did it correctly. But the key again is, first define the quantity of each, of each coin in terms of x, and then set up an equation depending upon the value that each coin represents, which means you multiply the number of each coin times the value of each coin. And that is how you solve this type of problem.